Kimberfit Lifestyle here. Thanks for joining me today for this mobility stretch routine. Find somewhere you can be in a comfortable seated position, no equipment needed. Let's start with keeping our leg in a 90 degree angle. As I bring my foot up off the ground, bring my knee towards the outside of my body, bring it back in and place my foot down. It's a slow controlled movement, really emphasizing my hip joint doing the work. Today's moves are gonna get the blood flowing through your joints and help alleviate any stiffness you may have in these joints. It's imperative that you keep your core stabilized through the movements. Very similar to the last move, you'll repeat that move, but add in an additional tap with our foot when we bring our knee outward. Eight more on this side. Switch legs and perform the same movement. Eight more right here. Next, high knee marches. Make sure your back and bottom are all the way back in your chair as you bring your knees up towards your chest, engaging that stomach. Six more. Moving on to the next exercise, you'll raise your knee in that 90 degree angle and then you'll extend and tap the ground with your heel and repeat. As I extend my leg, I'm exaggerating that I'm bringing my foot over something. I'm focused on warming up the muscles all along the back side of my leg with this move. So pay attention to keeping your foot flexed through the entire movement. Six more on the right side. switch to left leg. You should feel your hips warming up at this point. As you extend that leg to tap your heel on the floor, remember it's as if we're going over something imaginary right there and it's nice and slow and controlled movements. Six more right here. Good job guys, you should start feeling your hips warming up, that blood flowing. The next move, we're gonna move on to another joint, which is our ankle joints. So you'll extend your right leg out in front of you and start with circular rotations. Six 
switch the direction of your circles they're nice and big really envisioning drawing a circle with my toe we're getting that fluid in our joints moving and working any fascia that may be restricting movement in our joints switch legs extend your left leg out start your circles nice and big Keep your core engaged and keep breathing. Switch the direction of your circles. During this mobility exercise routine, you may notice some joints have more flexibility than others and you may notice some joints that have less range of motion, more stiffness, scar tissue, etc. So it's a good way to examine your body as you go and see what areas may need some more love. Now we'll stretch our toes. Bring your right foot into a position where your toes are the only thing pressing into the ground. Reverse the direction of your toes. So put the tops of your toes on the ground, letting the weight of your leg just rest on your toes. Change the direction of your toes back to pressing down on the floor. Now you can add your elbow leaning on your leg slightly if you want to add some extra weight and get a deeper stretch. Or just keep it where you're at and stretch without adding additional weight. As I'm slightly applying pressure to my leg, I'm also slightly leaning to the right and the left, changing angles as I stretch. Switch feet, pressing our toes into the floor. Some of you may have never stretched your toes before, so take some extra time and really feel out this move because this could be a huge benefit if you're feeling tightness in other areas of your body. Flip your toes under and stretch. Here's a Kimber Fit tip. If you have extra tightness in your toes or feet, grab a tennis ball, place it on the floor, and roll out your feet with that tennis ball, focusing on areas that have more tension and may need more time spent loosening. Change the direction of your toes one more time, pressing your toes into the floor, adding a slight pressure to that knee, and rotating your leg to hit different angles in this stretch. Good job, moving on, we'll extend our legs out as we switch off pointing our toes and flexing our toes. Really feel the energy through your ankles and toes as you perform this flexion and extension. If you'd like, as you're stretching your feet, you can go ahead and get your wrist joints warmed up by doing circles. Drop your feet down and continue the opposite way with your wrist circles. Next move is similar to that cat and cow if you were on all four on the floor. You're going to use your knees to round your back out 
tuck that chin to your chest and reverse the movement pull that chest forward pulling against my knees opening up my chest keep breathing as you're stretching your back adding a little extra stretch to our chest reach back pull on the chair if you can really getting a good deep stretch through our chest if your chair has arms feel free to use them to assist you in twisting your torso to stretch your back switch directions We've reached our final move. We'll be going from seated position to standing position and repeat. Focus on this final movement. Try to stand and sit without the assistance of your arms. Really focus on using those joint muscles that you've been warming up and activating throughout this routine. Make sure you're not plopping down and you're using your muscles to control how you sit. Great job guys, thanks for joining Kimber Fit Lifestyle. Don't forget, like, share, and subscribe.